Run out on the off TV. One, two, three. Okay, so I just woke up and I'm going to be making some sugar wax because I need to do a wax. Um, I did it uh, like a month and a half, a month ago. I don't know when I did. I did it like a month ago, and then when I posted it, everybody was like, "Like, oh my God, how'd you do? You should have recorded it. Teach me, teach me." I'm like, it's quarantine. People would have picked up a lot of the crazy uh, new things that they learned how to do. Okay. The ingredients are extremely simple. You need a pot. <laughs> you need water, lemon juice, and sugar of your choice. I'm just gonna use regular white sugar. The main ingredient, or the main tool that you need is going to be this thingy right here. This is a candy thermometer. I got mine at Walmart. It actually shows you where you need it to be. It shows you where, like if you're making candy, where it needs to be. Thread stage, softball stage, firm ball stage, hard ball stage. It tells you all that. So I always want to get to the, I, this is the thing that I did about three times until I got the um, temperature right. But I tried to do it a couple times without this and it doesn't work. You need to get this. Do not try to waste your time and go off color or time or doing a little methods, dropping the sugar and picking up. Just buy this, it's under $3. 250 Fahrenheit, that's where I want to be at with this thermometer. So that's like, it's right a, a little bit before hard ball stage. So it's definitely soft ball stage. We are gonna get onto it. I'm gonna show you the cooking and then I'm gonna show you the consistency. And then later on, I wanna show you the wax. And fourth cup of lemon juice, fourth cup of water. And then one full cup of sugar. So I want to keep my spoon in here, and then just it's gonna start bubbling, and I'm gonna come back. I'm not timing or nothing. Once it starts bubbling, for once I bubble, I'm gonna start putting my thermometer in. And every time I put my thermometer in, I take it off of the heat, just in case it is at the temperature it needs to be. We don't want to go over. So yeah, you see it's already starting. This one start really bubbling. Sticking it in, making sure you're not touching the bottom. And I don't know if y'all can see it. Can you uh, get closer to the, can you see the temperature thing, the red thing? Yeah, okay, you can't see it. It's moving up. Is it moving up? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's moving up extremely slow. So I mean, it's probably not, because I'm wanting to get to 250. So don't even waste your time trying to wait for it. So let's come back. I have to make another batch. <laughs> Hi, because I'm on one. So this is, I literally turned my back for two minutes and did the temperature and it was already like, it went to hard crack extremely. I mean, a uh, hard, um, where is it at? Soft crack, so quick. So I couldn't do anything with that because I'm actually, I'm making a strip wax. So, new pot, so the other pot is it's hard to get the sticky stuff out, so I just got a boil and some bleach water. So, I'm going to do it again. And I'm not moving this time, so. I can't make this stuff up. This is my third batch. So please, when you're making this, make sure you have enough sugar and uh, lemon juice, so just in case this happens. Third batch, hopefully you get it right this time. The one I just made, let me show you. I'm going to keep them all just in case. But... This is the second one. This is the first one, a really dark one. This is the second one, and it got to, like, I'd like it to be right where it says hardball. This one was, like, right, a little bit over soft crack, so. <sighs> Third time the charm. Third time the charm. I'm there. I'm there. I just laid it here. Oh, fuck. <sighs> You see where I'm at? Hope y'all can see that. That's where I want to be at, right there. So I'm taking it out. I'm gonna pour it. And y'all, I want y'all to see the bubbles on this one. You see how it's light? The bubbles, how they really like light. Let me just. 
Once the bubbles go, y'all gonna see the real color of it. So do not get fooled by the bubbles. The bubbles look like, but y'all gonna see the color of the wax. See the color of the wax. So because it's when it's in the pot, you see bubbles this color, you may not think it's done. That's what I messed up with the first one. But yeah, wait till them bubbles go away and then you'll see the true color. So this is the right at the 255 uh, degrees. This is at the 255 degrees. This is the color that I got. And this is what I normally go for. Like I said, I want the strip wax and I do do my strip wax warm. So now at this point, I'm gonna let this go over here with the other two. And you, every single wax you can make, even if you do like the ball, like the just the when well, you don't need this, you don't want to do strip wax, this hard wax, it's the same recipe. It's just the, uh, the temperatures are different. You just get the different temperatures. So, this is the hardest one. This is the middle one. It's still loose. You see, this one's not even moving. And this is the one I think we're going to use. So, once these cool for about an hour, I'm going to show you guys how to do my Brazilian. All right, so it's been about an hour. Go ahead and oh, I hope this is it's looking kind of hard, but we won't know until we warm it up and put it on our skin. So I'm going to do a test try. Okay, so I warmed it up, and this is the consistency. Focus, there we go. I think this should be good. I'm going to show you real quick what we need. In order to do your Brazilian wax, you're going to need some popsicle sticks, wax sticks. Got mine from Amazon. The big ones. The first time I did it, I did it with the small ones, and it it just makes it longer. It takes longer with the smaller sticks. You can apply more wax on the bigger ones, so get the bigger ones. We need some type of powder. I use a talc-free one. Baby powder of your choice. Wax strips, or you can use a cotton t-shirt and cut it into strips. I got these from Amazon. I just, you know wax strips and in a mirror because it's in a Missouri wax so I'm gonna go in the bathroom and uh we're gonna get to it okay so I'm back uh okay so this is where I'm gonna be showing you my wax um my Brazilian wax because it's on the toilet right here I'm not gonna do the whole thing here because you know you gotta get the the butt and you want to lay down flat so I'm gonna but for the sake of me trying to show y'all that it works I'm gonna do it right here and right here I'm gonna have everything that I need. My powder, my wax sticks, wax paper, a mirror, and my wax. So you make sure that you are nice and dry and clean. So if you have to get a rag, so because you don't need no oil on it. Trust me, it will not work. You will not pull off nothing if, has, uh, if you are oily. So next I'm gonna get some powder, put it on some tissue. And put it all over and this is getting just an extra step to make sure you have no moisture down there no oils if you are a person who puts on oils and stuff after your shower okay now let's see if it's even gonna pull off anything I'm gonna start on the left side so I'm applying it against the opposite direction of what my hair grows. That's kind of hot. So my hair grows down. So I'm going to be applying the wax up. And yes, this is painless. I swear, y'all, it don't hurt at all. People was uh, writing me on Instagram when I posted it. They was like, did it hurt? And I'm like, no. The shit at the wax place hurt, but sugar wax does not hurt. And it's better for you, hell. It's natural. So you just want to keep line it up you're gonna get your strip and you're gonna press leave make sure you have a room to pull and you're gonna apply and you're gonna rip the way your hair grows so I'm applying up and this is my I'm applying this way and I'm gonna rip down Cause you're ripping the right out of the hair follicle. Right from the root. I'm pressing it. So again, y'all, I don't even know if this is gonna, make sure you're, I'm tall. So let me lean back, pull, 
your skin so you can be like so you can pull your skin like I'm pulling my thigh away from me so you can be nice and stretched out and I'm gonna pull one two remove that because when I yank it I don't want to knock that over one two three yeah so it works and that's all I'm gonna show you <laughs> it works hope that didn't gross none of y'all out but It works, so I'm gonna go ahead and sit here, put some music on, put that new Jasmine Sullivan on, and I'm gonna do me Brazilian wax. Hope this video helped you. Bye. I just wanna show y'all like, um, I just gotta do the, the butt now, but this is, so y'all can see, this is how much I use. Good morning, this is not my second time doing it, but I saved, damn, $50 from my, and gas, so yeah, it works y'all. My bonnet is back on. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Very easy. Please try it. This is why I uh... No, I told you hot. Hot. Come on. Let's go find something else to do. <laughs> no.